Don't you love finding the perfect, unexpected treasure you never imagined you'd find at a Goodwill? I had such a major find for my collection today, and I'm so excited to share it with you. We're starting off at a Goodwill in the fancy part of town today. This is it. Sometimes that means finding better items here, and some days it doesn't. We'll see what the day holds. We're going to two Goodwills today, and then an absolute gold mine of a thrift store that I just found that I cannot wait to share with you. You will not believe this place. It's got tons of furniture, all styles, including vintage and antique. Gorgeous, all of it. A very rare thing happened to me while I was here at this Goodwill. There was no music playing, which means I can just let the background noise be. It's pretty noisy in here though, so I'm not sure if that's good or bad, but we're just going to experience the sounds of Goodwill. Vintage Thermos brand thermoses are popping up everywhere vintage is sold right now, so I just wanted to stop and take a peek at these. This one's a little banged up, but the prices are really good. Pitcher and wash basin, really nice to find together. Often I find one or the other, but these are the matching pair. The price tag is a little rubbed off on the bottom, but it's eight something, probably 8.50-ish. And the prices on those have gone down. I wanna say they were 25, maybe even 30 a while back. So that's come down significantly. If you wanna know which Goodwills I'm at, I put the addresses of all the thrift stores that I visit in the description box below this video, along with my YouTube channel link where you can watch tons more thrifting videos, garage and yard sale videos, vintage and antique flea market videos. I've made playlists in each category for your binge watching enjoyment. I'm Tanya and welcome or welcome back. If you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button to join our happy growing little YouTube family. We're about to hit another yard sale, garage sale season, and you are not going to want to miss this season of fun. This terrain is really pretty. I really like it. It's going on my I'll think about it list. Faultscraft butter dish for anyone who has a collection. These are the kind of pieces that usually end up breaking that need to be replaced. I'm seeing Fostoria pieces scattered around town and I'm always trying to figure out what Goodwill's up to, but sometimes I swear they have just taken a collection and taken it apart and just put different pieces at different Goodwills all over town. Kind of like bait, or maybe a treasure hunt. I'm not sure. Anyway, that's my Goodwill conspiracy theory of the day. This is a super cute classic style attempt by Nicole Miller. I would totally use this. I wonder what the rest of her set looks like. another thermos and it looks like all the prices are the same and I like that you just kind of know what to expect it seems like all Goodwills use a different pricing system but I like that this one uses the anything in that category system
I had to stop for this candle because it has cherubs on it, and I really love cherubs, but these look like angry cherubs to me. I don't know what happened, but they are not in a good mood today. This Goodwill does have furniture, so we're going to check it out. The prices tend to be all over the place. I can't figure out the pricing here with the furniture, but sometimes they have really, really good deals on really amazing things, so we're going to look. I would call that piece on top unusable and get rid of it. But $99 for this little breakfast nook I think is a really good price and I think it's a good enough price that you could refinish it and make it something really cute, maybe even spectacular. I am loving this little love seat. I think this would be just the perfect accent piece for the right place, the materials in great condition and for $24 Wow, that's going to be a real find for somebody. These pieces are huge. This is a nice set for a really good price, I think. And I love the feet on them. They're the little lion's feet. This would be great for somebody with a large contemporary home. What a great price. Where are my jewelry fans? Now this would hold a whole lot of jewelry. I don't see jewelry chests very often. In fact, I may have never seen one before at a Goodwill. I see jewelry boxes, but I haven't seen anything this size. And for $24.99, wow. I hate to pass it up, but I already have two. Mirrors are so expensive. I'm always happy to see them at Goodwill or any thrift store because I just can't even believe what they cost now. It's crystal ice bucket. I always check them out because I love using them for vases to put like tulips or, you know, other flowers that look good smooshed together. Next Goodwill. This one's really big, and I really like this one. And this is where I made my big find for my collection. They have a ton of clothes in this place, and I'm not going to stop, but I did find a few sweaters in here that I will show you at the end during my haul. This Goodwill and the last one, I find a lot of fancy name brands in. Here is a perfect example of pictures without the bowls. That's what I normally see. So I was really excited to see the pair at the other Goodwill. I have heard that some people don't stop at the end caps because the prices are, tend to be higher for them. And I think that just depends on the Goodwill because they just tend to be the same as everywhere else in the Goodwills that I go to. But now I'm curious. And now I would love to know below in the comments, what are your end cap prices like at the Goodwills that you go to? This set is so cute, and I was so tempted to pick up at least one of them because they are great for playing cards, but my family just doesn't play cards much anymore. We used to play Hollywood Rummy. Does anyone else play cards anymore? I'm just imagining pulling out one of those little vintage sets for coffee and sandwiches and playing our card games during the holidays. I've been seeing them lately at the Vintage Antique Market near me, too. I want to say they were around $25, $30 a piece. So, nine bucks seems like a good deal. This French teapot is really elegant. I 
absolutely adore this style of bowl called boats or gondolas, depending on where you're at and what your preferred way to refer to them is. They're gorgeous. These are about $20 online, so $5, really good deal for that. checked all over the box to find a price tag and I couldn't. There was just the one that looks like maybe it was from the garage sale price tag. I just love soup tureens. They're fancy. This little dragon box is so cute. He looks like he's made out of Play-Doh. He's not, but he looks like it. Okay, this is the aisle where the magic happens. I found my big treasure for the day here. Would you look at this beautiful mess? I just knew I was going to find some good stuff in here because nobody wants to look through this. Not closely anyway. cute little Carl Enns figurine and it's got the little windmill mark on it in green so in the green color it's 1919 to 1945 I think after that it's blue and before that it's black and here's my big find of the day this is the one I'm so excited about. It's a Czech vintage perfume bottle. I can't believe it's only $3.49. It's unreal. I have a collection going. My aunt gave me a whole bunch of perfume bottles. I bought some. But this is incredible to find at Goodwill. And I never, ever would have guessed I would have find I would find one here. I'm so excited. I'm tripping over my words and I can hardly talk. I have no idea what this is, but it looks like it goes to a bottle. It looks like it's the top, but I, I couldn't find the bottom part. I looked through everything, and I just couldn't figure out what it went to, but I just loved it. It was just so pretty, and this little piggy is just so cute. This is another thing I've seen a lot of in my area, music boxes, tons of them, and they're all super cute.
this is a really cute little vintage picture and it caught my eye when I was going down the aisle. I turned it over and I missed what looks like, when I'm looking at it now, a stamp on the back. It's at the bottom of the frame when I turn it over and I just completely missed it and I can't make it out now. All right, and who's this? Is this Led Zeppelin? Can somebody confirm in the comments below? Let me know who this is. I have to say, this place does have the best end caps of any Goodwill. I always find good stuff on these. There's two of these vintage jewelry boxes. And look at these gorgeous brass bookends. So beautiful and Oh, I don't think you can see it. $6.49, but they're stamped in their 50s. They're definitely from the 50s. So beautiful. We are almost done here, and we're heading over to the thrift store that I told you about that I just found. I am super, super excited about this place. I cannot wait for you to see what's in there. This is truly a don't judge a book by its cover situation. I stopped in here because I thought it might be part of Upscale Thrift, which is a thrift store that I go to all the time, just from the name, even though this is consignment. I stopped in just to see. Turns out it is no affiliation with Upscale Thrift, but this was the best accident that has happened to me in a long, long time. There's a big mix of more contemporary and then vintage and antique in here. And oh my goodness, look at this stained glass window. That was the first thing I saw that just made me go wild. Then I spotted the gigantic Dutch still life for $149. Where can you get some a picture that size for that price? And then right next to it, the vintage sconces, $49 for the pair. This place is full of cabinets and hutches and sofas and end tables. I mean, they've got everything in here and they've got tons of it in all styles. Some of the prices in here are just unreal. Personally, I'm into vintage and antique. And if that's what you're into too, hold on. It's coming and you will not be disappointed, I promise. And in case you've never been into a consignment store before, let me explain a little bit what it is. So each of these pieces belong to different people or one person could have several items in there, but they choose their own pricing. And so you'll see some inconsistencies in the prices for things, but you will also see some rock bottom, I mean bottom of the barrel prices in here too. You could think of this as kind of an indoor flea market where the person doesn't have to be there to actually sell their stuff. The front is set up more like a furniture store, showroom kind of a thing, but just wait as we go towards the back, it becomes a lot more of a free-for-all, which is a lot more my style. This place is giant and each room opened up to an even bigger room every time and the back is like this big open warehouse. It's incredible. Oh, and there's four poster beds back there. Lots of them. Will you please take a look at this antique walnut buffet? This beauty is a work of art. She's a work of art. I love huge furniture so much, but I don't think I could lift this with three other people. I mean, are you seeing the columns? The columns. She is utter perfection.
beautiful little French curio, otherwise known as a cabinet. I call them all cabinets. I know, it drives some people nuts, but I do. And $199? Wow. That is an immense deal. There were even some new pieces in there. Um, I didn't see a whole lot of them, but then again, I wasn't looking for them either. Big, beautiful hall tree. They're so classy. There were things inside the cabinets too, but I was having so much trouble getting to them because there was furniture in front of most of them. This stunner made it hard for me to contain myself in public. This is one of those pieces where my inner child was doing cartwheels and running around in circles and bouncing off the walls, so excited, and I had to stand there and just take it all in calmly. Oh, it was, this one just makes me dizzy looking at it still. I'm such a sucker for Art Deco. And yet another gorgeous, giant antique piece, Swoon.
look at this giant rug. Go ahead and guess the price. I dare you. You can't. You won't. It's $99. I am not kidding you. $99. I love this rug too. I can't remember if it's alpaca or llama, but it is so full of texture. I just love rugs like this. Oh, here we go. We're heading into the back now. I'm telling you, you ain't seen nothing yet. This is such a huge, gigantic place. So full of amazing pieces. I didn't have any idea which way to go first. Every corner of this room was singing me a siren song. Hello, gorgeous wardrobe. I was so sad I couldn't get the door open. I don't know, it might actually lock. It has a lock. This vintage bar is all sanded down and ready to be restained or painted. It's so gorgeous. I want two of them. This bar is a reason to throw a party. This chair has obviously been recovered. They did a phenomenal job. This chair is hot.
Look at her, I am speechless. That's how I say what is this doing here and how is it only $2.99 in silence. I want this bed, I want this bed, I want this bed, the wood one in the back. So stunning, so gorgeous, so perfect. These are the nightstands to that same bed and I do not like matchy matchy but in this case I would make an exception. This dresser is absolute fire. I love it, but how would you ever keep it clean? Look at all those fingerprints.
a little Tuscany style fountain. So super cute. In case you missed the last one, I have been on a run. This is actually the same day as the last one, and that's why I'm wearing the same clothes. But I wanted to show you, I'm not done yet. So I wanted to show you what I have so far because that's all that's gonna fit into this video. So I'm gonna start with my big find, which I am in love with. I've been collecting perfume bottles and I found this cut crystal bohemian perfume bottle. It has a little stem. It is so pretty. At the second Goodwill, I found these bookends, gorgeous unreal brass for $6.49 incredible 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 find i found this little thing i'm not even sure what it is it's the top to something i can tell to what i have no idea but i picked it up i thought it could go on top of a perfume bottle since i'm collecting them anyway so hopefully i find something to put it on just too pretty to pass up and per usual lately, I found a bunch of sweaters that I fell in love with, so I bought those and I figured I'd share those with you. I got this Lucky sweater, Lucky brand. So pretty. There we go. It was $9.99. I got this beautiful pink sweater for $5.99. Sorry, it's windy. $5.99. There we go. I also got this cashmere sweater for $7.99. I've been getting really lucky with cashmere lately. I actually filmed these out of order that I showed them to you. So this is the last place I actually went to and the last place was actually the first. So as far as that place goes, I'm in love. I'm going home by measuring. The things that I want are pretty big. So I'm gonna see if it's something I can bring home with me or not. And I will get back to you on anything that I bring home from that place. Um, I, I'm going back there so many times. It was incredible. I'm super excited about finding that new place. And that's it for my haul. Thank you so much for coming with me and keeping me company. I am so lucky to have you all to share this with. And until next time, happy thrifting.